Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Thoughts. I am doing your weekly reading for February 7th through the 13th. I hope you're doing well. I do want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore it may not resonate with everyone. If it's not resonating, please check your other signs and placements and check out those readings. Also, if you would like a personal reading, you can find the information in the box beneath this video. Simply email me and I'll be happy to get that set up for you. Um, keep in mind with a general reading, Capricorn, that the uh, energies are interchangeable. They can flip-flop, um, so the timelines can also vary. Um, take what works for you. Sometimes it's not going to be a reading, so take what is resonating with you and leave the rest for someone else, all right? So Capricorn, we're going to pull your energy. We'll pull the energy of the person you're connecting with, and then we'll pull the energy of the connection itself. We'll go ahead and get the um, outcome at the end of the week. And let's go ahead and pull some Lover's Oracles just to kind of sum it up. All right. So, Spirit, can I have the energy of Capricorn, please, for the second week of February? Capricorn. Second week of February, Capricorn. Second week of February for Capricorn. Right. Capricorn, you start out with the King of Cups in the reverse, the Star, and the Page of Coins in the reverse. Okay, so Capricorn, it looks like you're hopeful with the Star. Um, I don't feel like you've given up hope, but I do think that something has caused you to kind of close down your heart a little bit with the King of Cups here in reverse. Um, I feel like you've kind of pulled back, um, pulled your, your heart energy back. And also with the page of coins in the reverse, I, I feel like there's something here that just failed to manifest for you. And that's what caused this to happen. It's what's causing you to, it, it was a loss of sorts and um, loss of stability and, and just a, a loss. And so I feel like whatever that was is what has caused you to kind of pull back and to close your heart a little bit. But you are still hopeful. And I do like that. Let's look at the energy of the person you're connecting with. Show me the energy. Oh, well, that was fast. All right. So you have, they have, well, they have the queen of spears in the reverse. Now you may be dealing with a fire sign. If so, that would be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, it could be someone with um, fire in their chart, or it could just be someone that has um, these energies. Um, let's see, also the Four of Swords in the reverse, and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. All right, so the person that you're dealing with, I do think that they may not be taking a lot of action right now. Um, this may be somebody who typically in the past has been very action oriented, but for some reason they are kind of at a standstill. They're not really moving. They may have pulled back completely. You may not have even had communication with them for a little while. Um, and there may be some communication, but they've kind of pulled back. They're not really taking action, but I do think that it, you know, they're very crystal clear on what it is that they're doing. Um, they're not confused about it. This is, this is a, I wouldn't say calculated, but it's, it's a planned action. They're, they're very clear on what it is that they want and why they're behaving in this manner. Um, normally this person I would think is very action oriented, but not right now. Um, this is somebody who kind of pulled back for some reason. Um, you may not have even communicated with them for a while, but you, that communication um, is possibly open. If so, it's not going to be really big, um, but they're not really taking action either. Um, yeah, let's see the energy of the connection. Show me the energy of the connection, please. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Okay, well, that's rough. All right, Capricorn, that's rough energy between the two of you. Um, the Ten of Swords is all about um, betrayal. So this is rough energy. And also keep in mind, Capricorn, that this, um, this is a love reading, and there's no cups, which is love, in this 
reading. Um, except for the King of Cups in reverse, which indicates that you've closed it down. So, the energy between the two of you is one of betrayal. Um, that's tough energy. Now, that being said, um, it's almost at the end of that cycle. So, you know, that's the only positive I see with that right now. Um, I mean, in this particular deck, you see it as traitor. I mean, so there's a definite feeling of betrayal in this. What is affecting this connection? The five of coins in the reverse. So there, there is a reconciliation on the table here. Because um, that's my come back around card. After having been left out in the cold, after having been abandoned of sorts, um, there's a desire to, to come back together. So that's what's affecting this. What is the outcome at the end of the week? What is the outcome at the end of the week? The king of coins. Well, that's a good outcome. Um, maybe dealing, um, well, let's see, Capricorn, that would actually be you. So, because that would represent you. So, that's you kind of sitting in your power there with the king of coins. So, I do feel like you're going to be feeling, feeling secure by the end of the week. I feel like you're going to be kind of feeling as if you're back on top of things. Um, and that's positive. I also feel like the situation may stabilize and kind of balance out. Now, the King of Coins also indicates prosperity. So, so this situation may turn around by the end of the week. If not, I do feel like you're going to be feeling like you're in charge of things again and you're going to be feeling, you know, yourself again. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. So, there is a sense here of just unhappiness. Um, the Three of Cups in the reverse indicates um, just a lack of joy. And that's the underlying energy that's going on here. And I can see why if the connection itself is defined by the Ten of Swords. So, um, and keep in mind, the only cups so far in the entire reading is with you. And that's with your heart kind of closing down. So, let's clarify, Capricorn, and see what the heck is going on here. Why is the King of Cups in reverse for Capricorn? All right, so we have the Queen of Wands. So there's, there's your King, Queen of Wands again, this time in the upright. And we have the Six of Coins. Okay, so, I mean, are you telling me that this Queen of Wands was giving to two? Because, um, or, or you could be telling me that the Queen of Wands here was um, breadcrumbing you. So it's, it's one of the, uh, and it could be, you know, different parties have each. So for some of you, this queen of wands that we're seeing over here, the other person is now showing up on your side. Your heart is shut down because this person was either giving to two, or for some of you, this person may have just been breadcrumbing you. But this is what has caused your heart to shut down. Why is the star here? Why is the star here? Okay, we have the devil and we have the king of cups in the upright. Could also be dealing with a water sign. Um, if so, that would be a um, Pisces, a Scorpio, or let's see, Pisces, Scorpio, or gosh, what's the other? Cancer. Um, so there is still hope here, but I do feel like you may believe that this love is toxic. So, and if you don't think that it's toxic, you may just believe that it's just a, a bond that you are unable to break for some reason. Um, that it's just a, um, how do I want to word this? It's a, it's a bond that is so, um, so strong that you just feel as if you can't break it. You can't get away from it. Um, but you're hopeful. So, you know, for some of you, it's going to be toxicity. For some, it's just going to feel like an extremely strong bond. Or you may identify with both. But I do think that you're still hopeful that this situation can come back together. Why is the page of coins in reverse here? This is a situation that failed to materialize for some reason. 
okay? And it had to do with a decision. Okay, so it had to do with a decision that was made. And this decision um, may have felt like it was kind of a heartless decision. Um, I do feel like, you know, it took a long time to make this decision. And, you know, you may feel as if you, you're just kind of trying to hold on. It might be the decision to hold on after this didn't materialize as well. Um, yeah, you may be deciding whether you're going to let this go or you're going to hold on. But I really feel as if you're still hopeful. There's something that didn't materialize in this connection, though. You may have been hoping for something more concrete, something more... Um, more grounded, more um, 3D. Page of Coins can sometimes be like a um, leveling up. It can be like a engagement or moving in together and maybe that didn't materialize um, or, you know, leveling the connection up. And so you may now be deciding, um, are you going to release this? Or are you going to hold on? And you may be having difficulty making that decision. But I do think that you you still have hope. You're still hopeful about it. You're still hoping that this can come together. Let's look at their energy, Capricorn. Why is the Queen of Spears here in the reverse? Okay, so we have the Justice card and we have the High Priestess in the reverse. So something, some kind of secret came out, something was revealed, or else they found out something. Um, but whatever it was brought justice to the situation, and it halted this person in their tracks. Um, so I feel like um, they feel like they're doing the right thing by not moving forward. By standing firm, by not moving forward, they feel like they're doing the right thing. They feel like this is the just thing to do. Um, and it has to do with something that was revealed. Something that they they found out. Why is the Four of Swords here in reverse? There is the Five of Cups and the Hierophant. So they pulled back um, at some point. And, and then now they're, they're coming forward again because there's regrets about a commitment. There's regrets about, um, there's regrets about something. Now, if it's not regrets about a commitment, it's, a, it's regrets about, you know, some kind of an institution. Um, it could be the institution of marriage. It could be something else. It could be regrets about um, some some of religious affiliation or some kind of a work affiliation. But for most of you, this is going to be, they're, they're going to come back. They may even communicate with you that there's, there's regrets about, um, some kind of commitment that they've made. There's a commitment that this person has made that they are regretting and they will most likely communicate that with you. Um, why is the Seven of Cups in reverse here? We have the Nine of Coins and the Emperor in reverse. So the Nine of Coins has to do with being single. Um, and the Emperor in reverse um, indicates that there's some controlling energy. So I feel like this person feels like they have to be single. There's regrets about a commitment. So this person is feeling like they, they have to be single um, for a time. Um, I, I'm not so sure that they're not going to level this up, but they feel like they have to be single for a time. 
And that's what I'm hearing in my head. For the, the others are saying for a time, for a time. They have to be single for a time before they level this up. So they're not moving this forward. They feel like they're right in not moving it forward because there's something that has been revealed to them that they they discovered or some secret that has come out. And there's a regret with regard to a commitment that's been made in the past. They've healed from that. They've healed from that commitment. And now there is a they feel like they have to be, they're very clear that they have to be single for a time before they level this up. And that, that's what we're looking at over here, this leveling up. Meanwhile, you feel like you have to decide if you're, if you're going to hang in there or not. So you feel like there's hope. Okay, well, that, that's, I get that. And I'm wondering if they took on a third party. Because there's betrayal. Let's see, why is betrayal here? Why is, why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Five of Coins. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so there's your Page of Pentacles. This failed to come together. This failed to materialize. It failed to level up because you were left out in the cold. They committed to someone else. That's this, yeah, they, they committed to someone else. They were given to two. They committed to someone else. It broke your heart. It hurt you. You were left out in the cold. They committed to someone else. They regret that. They regret that. And now they feel that they have to be single for a while before they can level this back up. But here we have the five of coins in the reverse. So here you have Capricorn, the five of coins. You were left out in the cold. I asked what was directly affecting the, the um, relationship. You were betrayed, ten of swords. What's directly affecting it? Well, the five of coins in the reverse. Why is the five of coins in the reverse? You're waiting. Yeah, and they're releasing their past. Yep. Both of you are waiting for this person to release the past. You're waiting for them. They're releasing the past and and wanting this to come back together. You're both unhappy. You're unhappy because you were left out in the cold. This never materialized. It never came together. But yet you never gave up on the connection. This person chose someone else and it hurt you. It shut your heart down. Now this person realizes they made a mistake. They made a mistake in this commitment. They regret it. And so I do think that they're taking no action right now because they're trying to do the right thing, but they realize their mistake. It's come, they've, they've had a realization with this high priestess in the reverse. They've had a realization. And I do think that they realize they have to become single in order to, you know, become the emperor in the upright. So... Um, you have the King of Coins in the um, in the outcome. Spirit, can I see have three cards for the outcome, please? Three cards for the outcome for Capricorn, please. All right. So we have the Ten of Cups. We have the. Okay, so I do feel like. By the end of the week, you're going to be kind of um, more feeling more in your power, Capricorn. I do feel like you're going to feel more stable. You're going to be more in your power. I do think it may come from communication with this person where they may tell you that they regret what they've done. Um, I do think that on the table is the hope for both of you of having this Ten of Cups. You know, having emotional fulfillment with one another. However, that being said, it's not going to happen by the end of the week. I do think it will be communicated, which is going to leave you feeling better. But at the same time, you know, there's still going to be that waiting, waiting to release the past, waiting to come together. And that's going to leave you feeling stuck by the end of the week. You're going to still feel stuck. And this person um, is going to have the judgment in reverse, which means that they're not going to be willing by the end of the week to bring this back together. Because remember, 
they feel as if they they're going to have to make themselves single so the person you're connecting with right now is just not they're not single yet they're regretting the commitment that they made to this other person capricorn but they're not yet single and they know they have to make themselves single they have to release the past and you're in a waiting mode which is leaving you feeling stuck so yeah but neither of you have let this go this person betrayed you they left you out in the cold and they committed to someone else at the bottom of the deck we have the moon which is um where was it it was where was it in the energy? Was it in the energy somewhere? I thought it was. Huh. I guess not. I don't know why I thought it was. Um, but the moon is all about things that are not seen. Things that are hidden. So this is, this between the two of you, it's hidden. This isn't seen. It's not out in the open. Um, it's not out in the open, but it's still very much alive, very much alive. And I do think that the two of you will be coming back together because in the outcome, you know, you, you have this 10 of cups. That's complete emotional fulfillment. It's just not going to happen soon. So, all right, let's get three. Well, there's two. Um, let's get one more card from the Lover's Oracles and see if we can get some advice. We actually got four, but I think we should take them. So let's see. Where do you want them, Spirit? Okay. All right. So for you, um, Capricorn, it says Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So there may be an indication here for you to, um, you know, work on being friends with this person at this time. And then for them, we have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Wow, that says a lot. And then let's look at the connection. It says, um, I'll pull both of them. It says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. Okay, and the second card says, trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And I do believe that this situation is transforming. It definitely is transforming Capricorn. So um, that's a powerful reading. Uh, honestly, that's a very, that's the most powerful reading that I have done for this week. So um, definitely drop me a line and, and let me know what's going on here. Um, hit that like button if you would. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And until I see you next week, Capricorn, Namaste.